as you may or may not remember, a little while ago we inherited a beautiful cage from originally built by Custom Cages, but it was given to us by someone local who just didn't need it anymore, so she gave it to us. And we built it, this is it, it's in our warehouse, it's been great. However, it is a 20 year old cage, and it does have its quirks because it's one of the original designs of this cage. So, I mean, we were pretty transparent about there's gaps between the doors, it's kinda kinda wobbly, I don't wanna wobble it too much because there's monitors in here right now. But the moment this video, where this Cages video went live on the channel, Mark from Custom Cages reached out to us and offered to give us the newest model of this cage so that we can see how much it's improved over the years. So it just arrived and we're gonna build it. So there's boxes here, and here, and there, and there, and kind of oh, right over there. There's a lot of boxes that make up this cage. I don't know what's in all of them. All I know is there's a lot of stuff to unpack and a lot of cage to build. I'm really excited to see all of the improvements on the cage because as we pointed out in that cage's video, there were some quirks, there were gaps between the doors, stuff like that. So I can't wait to see how this new cage looks. Which box do you think we should unbox first to find the instructions? This one has instructions. Does it? That's instructions. I got that okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, cool. Oh, there's new ledges. Those look sweet. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool, cool. I guess we'll unbox the instructions first, and then we'll unbox the rest and start building. Check it out, this one has like a rainforest background that comes with it now. That's awesome. The other one was just like a brown panel background that we had to put cork bark sheets onto. This is sweet. All right, and 20 minutes later, we have all of the parts unboxed. This is gonna be quite the build. All right, to the instructions, which it comes with, and there's videos it looks like. I think Ed is gonna be your typical guy who just wants to wing it, but I'm gonna read these instructions and figure it out. Okay, arrange all the parts on the floor oriented in the positions they will be when the back section is finished. Huh, tricky part is I don't know what this is supposed to look like. I have an idea based on the old model back there. I think this is the background, pretty sure it is, but is this the right orientation? Um, like if this is the floor, that one looks upside down. So I bet we've gotta flip this around. It's like we're building or doing a puzzle without a picture of the puzzle completed. We're kinda going in blind here. Don't quite know what this is supposed to look like, but that makes it fun. Okay, how about that? Does that look oriented right? Uh, I bet I have them reversed. So what if I take this and move it over here, push this over there? Does that look better? I think so. Oh yeah, those ferns connect. Oh yes, and that tree goes across. Okay, we have it right. We figured it out. Now we'll keep going. Okay, figured that part out. What do I do next? Read this page first. Thoroughly read through instructions before starting. Uh-oh, didn't do that. Okay, complete the assembly steps in the order, okay. If your unit comes with a stand or a hood, assemble this first. Uh-oh, I think ours came with a stand or a hood. I did not assemble that first. I guess I'm doing the stand or hood next. All right, well, Emily left me to go do meet and greet, so I have gotten the base done, the top done, and the main part of the cage done. Now we just have to, I'm gonna save the peeling for Emily because I'm sure she'll love that. But I kind of want to talk about these corners. These corners are actually really interestingly designed and they're really, like, in my opinion, smart and strong. So basically there is a, I don't know if Emily showed you this already, but there is a plastic piece that screws into here, and then these pieces wedge into these corners, which I guess you can see I didn't tighten this one yet, but as it tightens, it pulls it in and locks it into place. So it's kind of cool. It takes a little bit to get understanding of how this works, but once you understand how it works, it goes pretty quickly. So I'm not completely done yet. Now I pretty much, I have to grab that screw over there <laughs> that I noticed, and then I have to stack them, and then we see where we're at. All right, so I got the base on. Got all the, there's two pegs that hold the base 
to the top part on. Those went on pretty well, but now I have to flip it upright. And I'm here alone, and I probably should wait, but I don't know, I think I can get it. These are locking caster wheels. I think I can do this. I guess we'll know if the hyperlapse camera catches me failing miserably and breaking everything, but if we don't, we'll wait for Emily. We got it upright. It only almost fell apart when I lifted it up. It just slid out of the little pegs, these little guys. So now I get to finish the top part here, put the pegs in place, set the hood on top, and I mean, we're pretty much golden at this point. There's some stuff we had to do, but, but that's all on Emily. That's Emily's job to decorate. My job is almost done. Well, I got the entire cage set up. I got the, the hood on, got the base on, got the back in, everything's good. I even got the rocks in, in the background and the water dish. I'm pretty sure this cage is set up for larger, medium to large monitors. And this, this log here is for basking purposes or climbing up to the rocks. A lot of the custom cages comes with this plastic, uh, fake rocks, fake logs, stuff like that. It's kind of cool. It, it's really able to be cleanable. It works great for Adoption Island because we can take it, disinfect it. They have, you know, it's plastic, it's rocky. It's not rough like rocks would be. However, one of these rocks in here is actually Universal Rocks. This guy is actually Universal Rocks Rocks. So I don't know if they're working with them now. I don't know if it's an upgraded feature you can add to your cages, but it's really cool. It matches pretty well. I mean, you can definitely hear a difference. It's a little bit more grippy, a little bit more sandpapery. But yeah, they, I mean, they're both gonna hold up to 90% of things you put in there. I haven't done the holes yet because I need somebody on that side and my arms aren't long enough. But yeah, we're pretty much done except for lights and setting the cage up to put the animals in. So I had to wait for Emily to get back for that. Okay, I'm back. Yep, she's back from meet and greet and yep. whatever else she was doing because it's <laughs> later than I thought it was. Yep. Okay, it's to your right. Where? Oh, there. oh, there it is. Yep. Okay, and... Oh my gosh, it's huge! Yeah. Wow, it does have the thing up above, does it? Yeah, it slides! Yep. Okay. And there's one down below too? Yep. Oh, look at that! Nice! Right. Oh! I left all the peely peels for you. Oh, thank you! Should we do a peely peel uh, satisfying compilation? Sure. Okay. There we go. Wow! Look at all the ledges in the bag! Yeah. Did you notice one's different? I recognize this ledge. Yep. That's the same one, just a different color than the old version. Yep. This is a new ledge, isn't it? Yeah. What does yeah. that feel like to you? Universal Rocks? It's totally Universal Rocks rock. Is it? Uh-huh. Oh, nice! It's foamed and everything on the inside, oh too. Oh, so. I don't know. I wonder how they, like, when they started incorporating Universal Rocks ledges. Maybe it's an upgrade or wow. something? Wow! That's really nice, though. Holy cow, look at this whole thing! Yeah. That is so Super cool. We can uh, peel the bottom piece, but I don't, yeah, it's all aluminum, so. That's fine, it'll just be substrate yeah, down there. it's gonna here. be substrate down yeah. there. We should probably go around and seal with the sealant over there. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, seal the yeah. outside, got it, okay. So we'll seal it and then start decorating and setting up electronics. Yeah, I guess while you're here, we're gonna fill those holes, because I can't do that by myself. Oh, it's too okay, long. okay, so let's, with the power of editing, let's seal the holes. Hooray! Ta -da, it's They're done. done, they're sealed. It's it's wow. essentially escape proof now. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think it's a lot bigger internally than the old one. I but... can't tell. So the other one over there goes to the floor. Here, let's scoot it over next to it. And... Yeah, let's put it in place and then compare the two. Look at that! Yeah. It looks so much cleaner and better and more spacious, mainly because... There's only two panels for the front doors versus yeah. four. So you get to see the animal. You see more of the enclosure without being obstructed. Yeah. But it's definitely not as tall. Internally. Internally. Yes, because this one, the internal space goes all the way to the floor. Yep. But that is okay, because that's still plenty of internal oh, yeah. space for whatever you want to put in The other in thing it. is, with this one, all your electronics either have to cut a hole up here and let your electronics be free or screw them into the, so they're inside so yep. the animal can possibly get burned. But this one, you just yeah. keep all your electronics up here and close it behind. Wow, okay, so which one, right, dimension wise, 
This one's 30 inches deep, and the new version is 36 inches okay, deep. Okay, so it's deeper. Yeah, look at that. How about width? The old model is five feet wide. Yeah, I think it's the same and five feet wide. Okay, okay. so it is deeper. So, so they went shallow, or they went shorter, shorter but, but deeper. deeper. Okay. Which actually is a better utilization of that space anyway. Well, and, and if you look at this, I mean, you are technically losing the lamps. So really, that's true. At the same point, if you go, you know, this is a space you can use because the lamps and everything are there. You're technically about the same height and you have storage and storage. I love the hidden lamps up yeah. here that it's going to provide. And yeah, the storage down there is awesome. Now we won't have a bunch of store like supplies sitting on the floor. Yeah. They can I go like, in there. I like the aluminum. So the back panels are aluminum. That's the white down there is aluminum. Oh yeah. And all these crossbars are aluminum. I think these are too. These are aluminum, but the all the panels like on, down below, I think that was just like a compressed board. Oh, that's right. It's the wood. same as this stuff. So it being aluminum, it's going to be better for water yep. and high humidity. Yep. And we know what we're putting in this. So, yeah. and that's going to need the aluminum in that case. And the nicest thing about this one is it's on wheels. That is so nice. So you can just move it out of the way and oh. see the fire extinguisher that we're not going to put it in front of. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd say there have been a lot of improvements over the 20 years between one of the original models from Custom Cages and the newest one. Yep. I think it's so cool. I'm, I'm wondering, is it? Yeah, that's really wobbly. A little bit of flex. Sorry, monitor. And then this one. There's still okay, so it's a about the same bit. amount of flex. But look at this one. The old version has gaps around oh, the doors. Yeah. Like there's these big old gaps. And we were having issues with escapees with yep. this enclosure. But this one, it's all sealed up. Yep, they put those corner pieces in so that doesn't happen. Yeah. There's still There's a little bit of a little gap bit of a gap here, so it's not but this is meant for a bigger animal, not garters. Right. And once the lock is in place, yep. that's gonna pinch them together. Yeah, in the it middle. can't once it's locked. I love the lock. Because there's the lock goes into here. Yep. So it holds these pieces so they can't go like that. Yep, yep. So they solved that problem yep. too. Because this one doesn't even have locks. No. Well it was supposed to. Oh, was it? That's what these middle that piece right there oh. is from. So this so one I, comes with one side of a lock. Yeah, I think it's just a <laughs> pin that you put in okay. place. And a background. And I love the background, yeah. And because I mean, that one is just a wood, fake wood panel. Yep. It was, it's like this except brown. Yep, so that's why we put the cork sheets on and top. And if you it. like that look regardless, you could still do that with this. Yeah, you could if you wanted, but I like it how it is right yeah. there. Wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, so next we have to find a way to put both these enclosures in this room, and then I get the fun job of decorating this for the new reptile we plan on moving into it. All right, next day we decided to change the orientation to open it up a little bit more out here, and you can just really see that size difference side by side now. Wow, it's such an impressive cage. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is use sealant to make the base water tight, and then I'm going to set it up for da 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 emerald tree boas. All right, while that silicone cures, I'm gonna show you, I guess, what all I've got. We've got, I'm gonna use this LED UVB uh, hood from Zoomed, because I really like those. Uh, not a sponsor or anything, but also, we have some leftover moss from the build-off, so we're gonna use some of that. We've got some extra cocoa husk. We've got some BioDude substrate, because this bag ripped in the store, so we can't use it there anyway or sell it, so terra, uh, terra firma. We've got some mangrove roots, some universal rocks, vines, some lighting, I'll need some cords, bulbs, and leftover branches from our zoo build to provide some perching opportunities. So these I'm gonna have to find a way to like mount horizontally in there. Don't know how I'm gonna do that, but let's see how it all fits together. Oh gross, my hands are terrible. I was <laughs> trying to cover the camera so I wouldn't show off that finished cage, but this is disgusting. That's from working with those vines. Anyway, here is the original design, 20 years old from Custom Cages. It works, but you know, again, it has its quirks. First off, the, the doors here being in four pieces kind of blocks your view of the animals and the heat and stuff is interior like Ed was explaining before. Anyway, we still like the cage, it's still fantastic, but when you compare it to this one, look at this. Look at the improvements they've made. That just looks 
fantastic. And only a small part of it is from Eric and I decorating it. It just looks like an amazing cage. We've got the lights up there. There's the UVB LED basking. And on this side, we have a ceramic heat emitter actually. And that's gonna project down to that branch at night. That's gonna be on 24 seven for additional nighttime heat. Uh, we treated it like a zoo build exhibit. So we've got the moss, the branches, just about everything. We have, I'm gonna add some springtails and isopods to the substrate to make that bioactive. And then I think we're done. I think we have enough climbing opportunities and perching opportunities in here, like horizontally oriented branches for the tree boas. So I guess the next thing is waiting until they arrive and putting them in. Okay, today's the big day. We have the emerald tree boas. They're out of frame right now, so you don't get to see them until we're done or ready to put them in. And first, I want to do a shameless plug to our reptile shed pendant kits. You can use a snake shed from one of our zoo animals or your own from home animals, and you can make a pendant out of it at home. You can get these at snakediscoverystore.com. Okay, and now it's time for the reveal. Ready? <gasps> Here are our new snakes! Our very first emerald tree boas. These were given to us by our friend John, who isn't able to keep them any longer. And you know, it just worked out so perfectly because we had this cage. We we're trying to figure out what to put in it for this video. And then he asked if we'd be willing to take his pair of emerald tree boas. So here we are. Which one do we want to put in first? Uh, we can throw the female in first. The female? Okay. Here's the female. I really hope they like the cage. I think they will. I think yeah. they will. We set it up. Just with them in mind, specifically. Hey, pretty girl. Look at her. She has a little bit of a, like, um, scrunched face. Like, her li lip is raised up a bit, as you can see. She's always had that. It's just a little birth defect that she had. But it doesn't seem to affect her health in any way. She still eats ravenously, apparently. We did probe her. She is a female, and the other one is a male. So we have a pair of emerald tree boas. We were told that these, you know, are a feisty species, but I don't know. She's acting pretty fine right now. Um, she's cold and it's day. So. Yeah, she's cold and it's daytime, that's true. So now is the time to handle them, I suppose. So here you go. New home. Go check it out. We're gonna let her climb and get comfy, hopefully find the basking spot. She also has UVB here if she wants that. We have a basking light here that's gonna be on during the daytime and off at night. And then on the other end, we have a ceramic heat emitter that's gonna be on 24-7. So basically when the basking light turns on, they'll have an increase in temperature and at night it'll dip down, but they'll still have a source of heat for overnight. All right, we'll let her kind of settle in. And now here's the male. Wow, look at the spots down his back. Some of these are almost like blue. You know, their faces, I can't take them that seriously. I still think green tree pythons are more sophisticated looking, you know? Yeah. These guys have that big nose. They kind of look like a dumb version of a green tree python, but we've never had them before, so I'm sure they'll grow on us. Who knows, maybe we'll become emerald tree boa fans over green tree pythons. No. You don't think so? Nope. No. No. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to put him in here too. I'll put him near the heat source. Nope, you don't want to go over there? Apparently not. Here, let's do the spin trick. There you go. Okay, now you're facing the other way. Ta-da! All right, we'll see where they go. Should we give them like 10 minutes to kind of settle in? Sure. All right. sure what to do with the enclosure, but the female seems kind of comfy and poised and ready for food. The male is still figuring things out. I had to pick him up off of the ground because he was exploring the bottom, and I didn't think well, he wanted to be down he'll there. He'll do that, and you, you've provided enough area for them to get up. That's so. true. Oh yeah, they can definitely make their way back up, but overall, 10 out of 10. This is an awesome cage. I'm loving it. They've definitely made a ton of improvements with this enclosure compared to the model from 20 years ago. But we're still going to use this guy. Yeah. Um, I should probably explain why these aren't green tree monitors, by the way. We ha got a pair of wild caught green tree monitors in hopes that we could breed them, and they just were not thriving in captivity at all. They weren't eating. They were very skittish, which was to be expected, but like we were tube feeding them three times a week because they weren't eating on their own and they just sadly didn't 
thrive yeah, even for us. tube feeding the proper diet even with tube feeding yeah so it was a risk we knew we were taking we were hoping they were gonna be okay in this nice calm environment but it just didn't work out so soon after we lost them though we had a pair of quince monitors surrendered yeah. to our adoption island program so i was kind of like meant to be and these two are doing wonderfully in this enclosure and they're actually pretty pretty tame too yeah that one right there you can pet him yeah he like the other one the one on the rock's not so tame but the one on the log is like you can pet his backside. Come here. There he is. So yeah, here's one of our twins monitors and there. Gone. I held him for a second. <laughs> so they're semi-tame. Definitely yeah. more tame than the emerald tree boas will be in here. I mean, but that's she okay. looks like she'll she'll give you a nice kiss. I bet she'd give you a nice toothy yeah. kiss. Yes. Good kiss. Look at that strike pose. <laughs> so yeah, this will be our first experience with emerald tree boas. I hope they like the enclosure. I think they will. We spent a good amount of time decorating it to be for this species specifically. Um, but yeah, now we'll just have to wait and see how they do. I'm pretty confident they'll do all right, especially in this awesome cage. But yeah, that's right. This is a cage video, not an emerald tree boa yeah. video. So over 50% of this video is setting up this cage and decorating it. <laughs> yeah. So people People will know this is a cage video. Yes. So if anyone is interested in this cage, they do sell this enclosure actually at customcages.com. But yeah, I love all the, the new additions and yeah. tweaks they made. Oh, slide's so nice. Yeah. And dirt and won't get in that, so it's gonna slide right. good forever. Yeah, and the lamps are on the outside and there's storage down here. Yeah, it's a really nice cage. Yeah, so. we can move all this stuff under there. Yeah, we can. So thank you, Custom Cages, for this enclosure to show us all the improvements that you've made on the on the model. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, help us come up with names for our new pair of emerald tree boas. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And we'll see you next time. She hasn't moved in like no, 10 minutes. No, she's good at standing still.